we have a new C5 project in the works. It's only been in the works for oh, about four and a half months now, all the way back to the holidays. I think most of you could probably read that. And so, as many of you know, um, I already have a set of inch and three quarters Texas speed headers on this car. <clears throat> Those headers work just fine and they made really good power but uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try the speed engineering they're a lot shorter they're a lot higher the Texas speed headers if you run a lowered car they will drag on every speed bump in your local area so I'm thinking I'm gonna sell the Texas speed headers before I beat them up so bad they're wrecked right now they just have a few scrapes on them but uh, Anyways, enough about that. That's not what this video is about. This is an actual unboxing. This box looks, other than the couple pieces of tape that I cut off, that's pretty much what the book box looked like when it showed up. So hopefully everything's okay inside. I know a fair number of people that um, run these headers and uh, they make great power they supposedly fit really good and for a relatively inexpensive header they uh, look absolutely amazing apologize my floor is kind of messy in here it is still winter time And do this one-handed so that would be the passenger side of course and the fit and finish is just amazing on these headers for the price not that my Texas speed headers were ugly but so these these headers were I think I paid $385 for them, and it comes basically with mid pipe and all. No cats, cats aren't an option. This will be the driver's side. So this, these kind of things are always kind of interesting to me because I've owned some very expensive headers before. Cook's probably being the most common one that I've owned before. And I don't know why, but I just don't want to spend that kind of money on this car. I'd rather spend that extra money on other things for this car. But man, these look really nice. I've never heard of anybody complaining about the flanges being uh, not flat or anything like that, so it's not even really a concern for me. So as far as my install goes, that's probably gonna be the extent of everything that I'm gonna use. It comes with a new 3 inch X pipe and the reducers to go down to the cat back or axle back flanges. Comes with all the clamps. I would not use these gaskets. I would reuse the factory gaskets before I reuse those gaskets. There's the X pipe. So I don't know, I'll probably maybe sell this to somebody if it's worth anything but I'm not going to use it I'm going to stick with my own X pipe or a mid pipe with a Bassani X pipe and I have uh, also a pair of uh, three inch high float cats that I'm going to be keeping in my X pipe that I'll merge into these uh, collector extensions so I think I'm going to leave this video separate as literally just an unboxing one last thing that I'm going to say, uh, if you want a leak-free installation, 
do not run all these clamps. If I was going to build all of this with the parts as it, as it was delivered, I would weld up every single joint except for the collectors. Having that many clamps, I mean, I know they do it for packaging and it makes it easy to ship and somewhat easy for people to assemble in their driveway, but I've known a couple guys that have run these kits on their C5s and they leak and it will leak. And you shouldn't have to build the thing with two tubes of high temp RTV. But that's just my two cents. And uh, I think I'm going to proceed with getting the old ones off of there and getting these put on. Looking forward to see how the uh, O2 sensors are going to fit in the car and uh, go from there. I'm not too terribly concerned about making an install video because I'm pretty sure there's already a couple of them out there. Actually, I know of one for sure. Uh, Bad Luck Garage, he put some on the proverbial China vet that he was setting up. And uh, I know when he put them on, they flew right in his car. So hopefully I'll have the same luck. Anyways, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.